Today I'm going to show you how to design your very own kit card from turning this into this. So as with any design, we want to start with a drawing layout and sort of a general idea of what we want in terms of the design. So after doing some research on some general looks of some helicopters, I found sort of the base look that I wanted to go with, and that was this view you can see up here. And then I drew a bit of an isometric view here, which we can see sort of lays out the general idea of what we want in terms of the 2D flat shapes to be printed that we can get in terms of the kit card. So once this is all done, all the pieces are numbered from 1 to 13, as you can see here, and then I laid them all out in the kit card in sort of the 2D format that we want to put in the model. Once we model the actual components, and then we can design them and 3D print a couple of prototypes, test some fits, work on some tolerancing, and get the overall product finalized and good to go. So from here, we're going to jump over to the design software and get started on the 3D design.
All right, and there we have it, the 3D modeled helicopter kit card. So let's slice this in the Prusa slicer, get it over to the 3D printer, and see how it turns out. All right, so we've got the design loaded into the Prusa slicer. We made a few small changes before loading in, mainly adding some chamfers to the actual assembly pieces themselves to add a nice flush finish when we go to build the helicopter. Also turned on detect thin walls, that will help for printing smaller areas such as the attachment pieces and maybe the pieces around the windows as well as the attachment slots. We've got a 0.1 millimeter layer height. Usually you can use PLA with this, I just have a nice color of PETG that I want to use to print this helicopter but any type of PLA will work just fine with this or PETG, whatever you decide. Um, we've got 20% infill, it could be whatever you want, again 20 should be more than fine for this. Got printing time of four hours. We'll do a double check on the layers. We don't need any support on this. So let's export this and send it off to the printer. So as can be expected, the first iteration of the design wasn't 100% perfect. Happy with a lot of things with the design though. The assembly is quite easy, all the tolerances are really good, it fits together quite well. Um, however, instead of a helicopter, we got sort of a soapbox car going on here. Um, the rear end of the helicopter doesn't fit the exact way I'd like it to and I'd like to adjust the angle as well. Um, and also I'd like to decrease the actual width of the helicopter to make it look less uh, boxy. However, we do have a kit card. so. The boxiness is sort of inherent in these projects, however, uh, I think we can make it a little bit better. So let's head back to Fusion, change up a few things, and come right back here, and we'll fix it up. Alright, so we've got the rest of the pieces printed off, made this small few adjustments. We've got the new attachment piece on the back tail part of the helicopter, and the new slot here to make it a little bit better of fit, like so. So we'll put this all together and see the final result. Alright, so there we have it, the fully assembled and designed helicopter kit card. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit like and even consider subscribing, it really helps out this channel a lot. And you can also find the downloadable file for your own 3D printing pleasure in the description below. So thank you all for watching and happy printing.